So the show is about uh, a group of people that are on a flight uh, coming back to New York, uh, and unbeknownst to them, when they land, it turns out that they've been missing for five years. So the show is about discovering what's been going on in life uh, for their families, their personal lives, because it's been five years. But for us on the, on the plane, no time has gone by at all, other than the three hour flight. Um, so there's some mystery there. There's a bit of, a, there's a sci-fi element there as well. I play Sam Beyond Manifest, uh, and she was one of the passengers on the plane. She's a medical student working on her uh, thesis. She's very smart. Um, she hasn't realized yet, but she's made some big medical breakthroughs, which is something that, I mean, throughout the season, will uncover and her understanding, you know, how smart she is and how capable she is. But obviously, all this time has gone by, so the work is kind of moved along without her. So she's playing catch up and, and trying to understand, you know, what's more important to her as well in her life. I think when she was on the flight, her career and, and doing well and being successful was really important to her. But then I think, you know, later on, it's about the medicine and she really evolves as a person as well, I think. The main things that I love about Sanvi is she's very resilient and she's very smart and she, um, you know, really has a lot of conviction in, in the things that she believes in. Um, she's dedicated her whole life to medicine um, and I have so much respect for someone that makes a choice to be so selfless in that way. Um, She's just kind of a badass, which is the best part about her as well. Like, she handles the whole ordeal with such strength, and I, I really admire that in her. The one big conflict that she has in her life when she returns um, from the flight is, in her field, does she go for the money or does she go for the medicine? You know, does she choose to be a sellout, I guess, if you want to say, or is she going to put the medicine first and humanity first? And, and that's going to be a big conflict for her, and especially as a young woman, and to come into so much success, um, you're going to have people pulling you in different directions, and it's uh, I'm really curious to see. I hope that she does stay very grounded and knows who she is and makes the right choice, and I, th I think she will. I think I, I think I believe in the supernatural. I'm definitely very into the idea of a parallel universe. Um, I'm into the idea of understanding is there something larger than all of us that could be out there. I'm so very open to that. It's probably why I liked Manifest. <laughs> Doesn't, it doesn't seem as outrageous, the idea of something like this happening. I think it's a universal show because at the core of it all, it's about family. That's that nugget that, you know, that thread that keeps us all going is our devotion to our family, the trials and tribulations of every family and, you know, all the things that we all go through with one another. Um, and the writing is great and the performances are great. And, the, and when you have a team where everyone is on point, the finished product will, will always be good because you have A-list people and you have people that are really passionate about the project. Um, and we're all working collectively, and it's... I think for audiences that are going to tune in to Manifest, they will, you know, get to witness characters going through life with their family and their loved ones. The drama is obviously very intense for all of us that get off the plane and all of our people in our daily lives. And then you have intrigue and mystery, which is another element. You have so many elements to the show, and I, I genuinely think there's going to be a lot of different people that can relate to a lot of the different storylines, whether you know, you're a student, a father, a mother, um, 
you know, in your career, very focused. There's just so many different characters, and they're all so well-rounded because of how Jeff wrote them, which makes it easier for the audience to fall in love with people that way. 